Hello YouTube, on this video I will show you how to set up a Dark Comet RAT server. So the first thing you want to do is port forward one specific port that you're gonna need for the server. So before I show you how to do that, uh, I have to say that every modem has a different menu and every modem has a different username and password to access it. The password and the username can be found at the back of the modem that you have so with all that said let's go open up cmd or command prompt type in ipconfig and what you're looking for here is the default getaway uh, of your modem this is the one since you have that open up the browser and go ahead and what am i doing go ahead and type it there now it's going to ask you for the username and password which we can find at the back of your modem as I said before so and as I said before uh, every modem has a different menu it might look different completely different but you have to do the same things uh, so the first thing you have to do since you're in the modem you have to go and find the firewall find the SPI uh, option and disable, it, and disable it then click save then go to the port forward option in my case it says NAT and then you have to go to virtual server so what we're doing here is we're going to forward a port let's make a new role on role 2 name it tutorial tutorial choose both protocols if you can choose both of them make one rule for the TCP and then make another one for the UDP the port that we are port forwarding is 1605 1605 and, and start the same thing and at the local IP here you have to go back to your uh, the command prompt and to look for the IPv4 address here this one and you're gonna type it here Six. all right and hit save cool we have port forwarded uh, our port so close that this so the next thing you're gonna need is an IP service so open up your browser type in no IP go to noip.com and you're gonna make a new account here let me make a new one real fast the temporary mail delete this one here we have our mail let's name it uh, random tuto for tutorial and give it password sign up once you sign up you will have to go to your email and activate your account Once you have done that, you will see this page here. Create new ho uh, host now, host name. Let's give it a name. I will name it random tutor as the name of the username here. Uh, DDNS, you can choose any of these, but I like the DDNS domain. Add host name, and you're ready. The next thing you're gonna do is go down here, find the client, dynamic update client for Windows, download it. It will take it will take you to this page, download. I already have it installed on my computer, so I'm not gonna do it right now. So close this, you don't need it anymore. Here is your uh, your client, it's named do you see? And this is how it looks click edit here and um, 
login sign in uh, what's wrong oh my god are you kidding me okay i had to pause this to change to reset my password let's see oh it's the name my god whatever yeah you have to log in here <laughs> and after that you go edit hosts check this save refresh and your no IP uh, DNS it's ready so now we have to go to our firewall go to the start menu here search for firewall you don't want to choose this one this one firewall with advanced security go here and what you want to do here is go to inbound rules new rule port tcp 1605 here next allow allow and here you have to name it tcp again new rule port this time here you have to choose UDP the same port allow yeah 1605 UDP this time you give it a name and now do the same thing on the outbound rules here oops new rule port TCP 1605 um, allow connection next once uh, 605 TCP finish and again port UDP 1605 allow next 1605 UDP all right so you are done with the firewall options so the next thing you have to do now is go ahead and download Dark Comet I will have a download link on the description of the video go ahead and download it real quick this is uh, how it's gonna look like okay before you extract this you have to go down here let me show you real quick you have to go down and pose your antivirus protection because uh, every rat program it's gonna be recognized as a virus by all the antiviruses out here out there so yeah we ha you have to temporarily uh, temporarily uh, disable your protection or else your dark comment excel will be deleted automatically and so after we have done that, let's go extract it. Here it is. Dark Comet. Run it. Mm, I, I like to check this so I don't have to see this message every time I open it. I accept. Uh, this is the message that you don't want to see again and again. <laughs> Do not so start up. Fine okay and since since you are here uh, go to socket slash net add uh, port right click add port and here you have to type the port that you have port forwarded listen cool since since it says uh, listening here it's good now all you have to go uh, you have to do is go ahead and create the file that you're gonna give to others to infect their computers and take control of them or whatever you want to do with uh, the, rat, the rat server that you are setting up so go up here server, server module full editor um, and here you have to click randomize sometimes here the next thing go to network settings 
here is where you have to type in the DNS name that you have that we have uh, created random tutor that uh, DNS dot net in my case and the port here that we have port forwarded that is 1605 so yeah add it and you are done with the network settings now go to module startup you have to check this and check these two here and you can change the names of the files here if you want it's uh, your options uh, install message I don't recommend you to check this because uh, it's too obvious anyway it's uh, it's on you you can use it if you want on module shield here you wanna check these three options here don't check all those here because uh, those options are going to trigger the antivirus of the, of the person that you wanna infect so don't don't check any of this I recommend you only these three options here this is how I do that and finally here you have to this is the part that you make your you build your stub your file so go ahead and build it give it a name I will name it test save it and you are ready to go now all you have to do is for example take this file and uh, put it on your children's uh, computer double click it and since you do that you will go back to your computer and you will have him connected here and you can do many things like uh, watch the camera uh, hear his microphone and many other things that you can do there are many features on Dark Comet so that's it guys this is how you set up the Dark Comet Rat server thank you very much for watching my video if you like it please give it a like and if you have any problems or anything please comment down on the comment section I will be really happy to help you fix uh, your problems and make it work so yeah see you on my next video bye bye